Uh huh. So hopefully everyone can hear me. Um, uh, Roy and uh, and and everyone, uh, well done. Uh, can you hear me? We just started being able to hear you. Okay, well that's great. I I, I started talking about two seconds ago, so that's really great. So um, well done. Uh, and now, uh, Roy, is this another? Uh, did, did, when did you guys get together? Yesterday. We, we got together yesterday for the first time, yeah. And I know you guys were rehearsing right up to the end, right? How was the process this yes. time? How was, the, how was the, the rehearsal process this time? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yesterday we, uh, we went about three hours. And, um, you know, it's not as big as the Tchaikovsky we played a month ago, but it is difficult in its own ways, uh, ensemble-wise and stuff. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you about it. Uh, the Tchaikovsky and Schubert, two very different uh, pieces, and but both you know, the, pro 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 probably two of the most well-known pieces in chamber music, uh, with strings and, and in the case of Schubert, you know, with a bass and a piano. So. How, other than, you know, what are the differences, putting these two pieces together? Well, the major difference here is obviously the addition of the piano. So having to balance with the piano and also um, consider its intonation is it's very different than just working strings alone. Yeah, can you um, elaborate a little bit more on that? Perhaps Ilya can. Uh, about, <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not sure if I got the question. Could you please repeat it again? Sure. Just in terms of you know rehearsing chamber music with strings and piano, and Aaron was talking about you know the balance and also intonation. Me talking about intonation. Do you want me to talk about it? I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for me, actually, it was very difficult to uh, to hear the balance. Uh, we never uh, got the chance to talk about balance because of the mics, and this is the first time I'm doing this uh, online live streaming performance. So I'm I'm still not sure about the balance, how the balance works. <laughs> we we never got a chance to talk about balance. Yeah, and actually, maybe I'll ask the string players. When you play with piano, do you tune your st open strings to the piano, or how, what? What do you do? Yeah, we have to tune to the piano uh, because the you know it's fixed. We can adjust our our uh, intonation, but the, the piano can't, obviously. Well, maybe yeah. Could, so but... that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, we we have um, Nick here today. You know, our principal bass, Nick. Nick, um, this must be a, a very nice. Uh, thing thing to do playing chamber music there how many uh, pieces of chamber music uh, that are well known and includes a bass not very many it's a simple uh, and uh, you know obviously the, the trout i know Dvorak has a has a has a double bass quintet uh, and can you can you and i know uh, the, the slightly bigger ones, you know, the, I think the Beethoven, Beethoven Septet has a bass, and we actually thought about programming the Beethoven Septet, but for now, we, we, we just couldn't include the wind players yet. So, Nick, how, how have you been, and have you enjoyed playing the, the trout? Uh, you know, Nick, playing... before you go on, uh, I, we we have problems hearing you. So if you could either speak louder or use another mic. Is this loud enough? No, sir, keep going louder. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Much better. Okay. So uh, to quickly recap, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I don't get to play chamber music often outside of jazz. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's challenging in a bunch of different ways. 
compared to playing on stage with the orchestra, um, I kind of have to approach the instrument different. Um, I guess things are way more delicate uh, in, in this kind of setting um, as compared to the, the big hall where you almost have to make everything more aggressive to cut through the, the textures of the orchestra. Here, I can play as quiet as I want in the piano, you know, pianissimo sections, and it's appreciated. Um, whereas maybe in the bigger hall, it gets lost or buried. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, I hope to do it more. So I have another question um, for uh, Roy, Aaron, and Noman, because you guys got together a few weeks ago to play the Tchaikovsky. And obviously, you have not played too much chamber music together as a group. You know, playing together just the, sec you know, the second time with the Trout, how have you found it? Do you, are you getting to know each other's playing and personalities? Yeah, I, I think I'm definitely uh, connecting more with Noman and uh, Aaron. Uh, they're sitting in different places this time, but I can, uh, you know, the viola is almost like a, another violin next to me. Uh, sorry, it's not. It's definitely no, a viola. in this piece, I, I do kind of switch roles between, you know, I, I'm an inner voice always, but I sort of serve as second violin sometimes and more like a bass, cello bass instrument sometimes. And something I'm feeling even more since the Tchaikovsky is like um, trusting them more, mm. you know. So when I feel maybe a little uncomfortable, I know I can lean in on their sounds and um, and, and recoup or myself or something. <laughs> well, that that's Hello. really wonderful. Hello. Yeah. Oh, and um, I was just gonna say, um, I love playing with all of them, and we got used to playing in tune together more. And last time we played, it was cold outside. Now it's a little warmer, but either way, we also trust each other more. Yeah, that, I think that the trust that we're building as as a section, as string principles, is it, it only makes every performance better. Do you know, I'm, I'm so looking forward to seeing you guys, hopefully in, in April. Um, and then hope, hopefully May and June as well, as we hopefully slowly get back to normal. And I think it will be a, a very interesting dynamic. You know, I think everyone would be so keen to play. Now, but before uh, we, we, we leave uh, everyone, I'd actually like to speak with our pianist a little bit, Ilya, because I don't think we have met. Uh, we but I never met. Well, nice to meet you. Very nice to <laughs> meet Even you, Even though too. it's under these circumstances, it's yeah. wonderful to meet you. It really is wonderful, and uh, bravo, and uh, and I, I know uh, they told me that you, you have obviously performed this piece before, and and I, I'm, I was reading your bio, you're, from, you're originally from Bulgaria. Can you tell us Correct. a little bit about yourself, and you know, for those of you who, who may not know you, uh, how you I'm ended sure. up in um, central Illinois? Yes, uh, I grew up in Bulgaria. I finished my bachelor's degree there at the conservatory. And after that, uh, I worked at a small college uh, in my native town. After that, I decided to leave the country. I wasn't sure at the beginning where to go, Europe or here in the States. So I chose Europe. And actually, I first I moved to Southern Illinois, Carbondale, which is what, uh, two hours from here or two and a half hours from here. Uh, I did my master's degree there. After that, I went to Madison, Wisconsin to do my doctoral degree. And uh, first job, second job, and my third job is here at uh, Illinois Wesleyan University in Bloomington. So that's right. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's pretty much have it. you do, do you in know short. any of the musicians before today that you got together I, to do the trout uh, yes the only person i knew from before is roy uh we met uh, roy when did we meet a couple of years we ago. met in 2006 well actually yes he was uh, i first met his brother we collaborated with his brother while i was doing my doctoral degree and his brother was uh, doing his uh, uh, undergraduate degree in medicine wisconsin 
and uh, Roy was how old? I don't know. I, I think I was 17. Okay, we played, so high school, uh, okay. I hired you to be my accompanist okay. to play I... Vinielski Concerto <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> for my audition. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. So, so yes, the world is small. That, that's really fantastic. I, I'm so glad they found you. And uh, hopefully well, this you. was yes. the start of many collaborations together. I sure hope that this will be the first one and uh, you know, there will be many more to come to work with these wonderful musicians. Absolutely. That's, that's really great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, so we've done Tchaikovsky, now Schubert. What's next? Brahms. <laughs> that's always the answer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we should definitely look forward to that. You know, maybe we should, we should get one of the sextet together. Or, or, the, or the piano quintet. I think we're ready for it. There's a great uh, Shostakovich quintet, too. That is very true. That, yeah. Well, sorry, Nick. It, it, it doesn't appear that the, those pieces include a double bass. Maybe the uh, Vaughn Williams quintet. We'll put together a jazz combo at some point. There you go. That's what we should do, a little jazz, a little jazz event. But, I, you know, it, 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 we're so grateful that uh, you all, I mean, it's amazing. We have all the principal players playing again. And this is just a treat for, for myself, for I think everyone who's online watching. And uh, thank you. It was really, really tremendous. You guys sound really, really great. And I can't wait to see you uh, in a few weeks. Um, uh, 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 so uh, with that, I, I, I think we're, we're going to let you uh, let you go. And um, thank you so much again. Um, we'll hopefully see you and see uh, uh, many uh, friends uh, in, in a few weeks when we have our chamber orchestra concert. Thank you so much, Ken. Really good to see you too. Okay. Th thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.